is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're looking at three-star cornerback out of South Warren High School in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Christian Connor. Uh, Christian's listed at 6'1 one and a half, 170 pounds. Now he's a three-star on 24-7, but on rivals he's listed as a four-star on three. Also has him as a three-star. I think he's gonna be really good. He's got that length that this staff really likes. And um, he doesn't have a whole lot of film, but we're gonna take a look at what he does have out there from his senior season. Before we do that, let's go ahead and as always, scroll through his profile. There isn't much to see on his. They've got some older information there. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. All right, so he's up top playing a little press man. Okay, decent job at the line of scrimmage. Would like to see him get his hands on that receiver, but good job staying in phase and high point in that football. See it again here. You see he protects his inside, which is exactly what you want um, when you're just playing man like this. He had inside leverage, does a good job, like I said, staying in phase and making a play, making an interception. Right here, he's playing off the ball. I'm not sure that could have been man, but the highlight of this play is him tracking this running back all the way down. So you can tell he's got some pretty good speed. Uh, he looks like he's a little bit more of a slow twitch guy. So I would think that he's probably going to play more of a, he's, he's more of a zone cornerback. He's not much of a man cornerback, just from what I can see off of this film. He doesn't show, like I said, a lot of that quick twitch, but he does show flashes of it when he's on offense right here. Obviously, this is something else that he can do well is play on special teams. So it's always good to have multiple guys who can fill that role. Here, this is a much better job. So he's playing man there. Uh, these receivers are, are bunched up. So Christian isn't playing as much press. He's playing about four yards off, but he does a good job of getting to the uh, wide out shoulder, getting his hands on him and making a good play on that ball. So uses those long arms very well. And then here he's playing receiver. Pretty good coming out of that break. You can tell that you know he does a good job of getting in and out of breaks. Like I said, he's got pretty good burst, uh, pretty good straight line speed. And here, this is man coverage. Now, he's getting blocked right here. He's getting stock blocked. That's a pretty decent job. You'll see that he maintains his outside leverage. He steps inside for just a second, but then he goes back to the outside. You would like to see him disengage with this block just a little bit quicker, but these are all things that can be coached and he's got the skills to be able to execute on these little small details. It's just a matter of, you know, like I said, uh, them getting his fundamentals correct. Good job there filling. Uh, that's a pretty good job of getting low on that tackle. Like to see him bring his arms, but just smaller things here. You know, he was playing safety on the last place, playing safety here as well. I think that he would do, do pretty well playing like a free safety. Um, just want to see him be maybe a little bit more physical, a little bit more solid with his tackling. And this is a, you know, again, this is a good job. He's showing his speed on special teams. He's more of a long strider, but he does have good speed. May not always look like it, but he's covering more ground than, than what you would think. Now, look at that. That was really nice burst off of the football. So you can see it there. Sometimes he does flash. He flashes that suddenness and that burst, that, you know, that quick twitch. And here is on offense again. And see, so you can see it here, it just boom. You know, it's almost like he shot out of a cannon as soon as he got that football. Um, and then right here, we've got him playing off. This looks like this is probably man coverage. It looks like he's got an inside leverage. It could have been zone. So what happens right here is that receiver kind of made it like he was slowing down, like maybe he was gonna try to block him. And, you know, this is a good job of getting back in phase and make it, making a play on that football. You know, you would like to see him stay on top of that route more. So those are just, again, those are just some little small details that 
will get ironed out pretty quickly once he uh, once he goes through more time with the coaching staff up in Knoxville. So that is Christian Conyer. I'm not sure if he's going to start necessarily or how much playing time he'll get as a true freshman. I think that he really he, he has a lot to learn about how to play corner, especially coming into the SEC. There are several things that I can see in his film that he's going to need to pick up on. But good news is he has all the skills to be able to pick up on what the coaches are going to give to him. So looking forward to seeing how much progress he can make in spring and over the summer. He's a guy that if there's a situation where they're playing against a team where they want to play mostly zone, you could see him coming in there because he's got so much length. He's almost six foot two. He's got really long arms even to be six foot two. He still has a ton of room on his frame to be able to fill out. So he could potentially also be moved to a safety. It just really all depends on how much he's going to pick up on the coaching. So kind of hard to tell there but I do think that for sure in his second season after going up against our wide outs in practice every day after going through the same drills every single day a thousand reps every single day he's going to be so much better and I think that what we're seeing from his film now it, it, he's going to blow that out of the water in the next you know, 12 months from now, he's going to be a completely different player. Uh, but, you know, that obviously that that's going to go for, for all of them. But I think that with Christian, he has a lot more upside probably than most of the players that we've looked at just because I think he might be behind a little bit more on his technique than any other player that we've looked at so far. So we'll see how it all works out. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into this channel, for tuning into this video. Thank you all for coming back and thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the likes. Please continue to do so. Hey guys, share these videos, share this channel and this page with your friends, with other fans that you know who might be interested in watching this content. Um, and as always, remember to hit that bell so that you can stay up to date. We've got a few more people left in the class of 2023 and then we'll be moving on to 2024. So thank y'all as always. See y'all on the next one. Peace.